okay uh, i think we can start now um, till now whatever we have done is basic it was basically the revision okay so we have not done anything new except this particular command that is git branch so this we have done it for the first time these two commands okay so basically now we are going to start something called as uh, you know uh, uh, actual workflow of your development okay so whenever you start developing softwares this is how your workflow should be okay so now you uh, basically when do you create branches okay so that is the first question so branches can be there for many things first of all let's suppose uh, there are five people working on a project okay it is possible that you create five branches each one for each one for each one of your uh, friends okay so each one will be working on their own separate branches okay and there will be one group leader who is going to whose responsibility will be to merge those branches to the master after testing it okay so so that is how one workflow can be second workflow can be like uh, you have a master branch you have uh, released the software as i've already told and there are there is some emergency urgent bug or security bug is there and you want to resolve it okay so you don't directly go and edit your software you first create a branch edit it test it whether that bug is resolved then merge it to the master okay so today in this particular session we are going to see how to branch then do the commits and then how to merge it okay so branching already we have done uh, to check how many branches there are you use the command git branch and if you want to create a new branch you use the command git branch feature one okay so now after running git branch again you can see there are two branches feature one and master okay so two branches are there that is fine but very important thing to understand is you are on the master branch because the star is over here and also you can see here it is mentioned in the command line even if you do not use git branch you can still see which branch you are working on okay so always this thing is displayed so that is why i always prefer to use git bash okay over the windows command prompt the same thing i can i could have done it with windows command prompt also right but uh, i prefer to use git bash okay so now if i do the changes right now over here okay so let let me add another file okay uh, let me add another file called m4 dot txt okay so if i do that it does get added over here you can see okay so there is m1 m2 m3 m4 okay and i can obviously do git add git commit fourth commit okay so that is done right now if i do git log you can see there is this first commit there is this second commit third commit and fourth commit right so nothing actually happened in the feature branch why because you never went to the feature branch okay it just shows that here at this point a new branch was created which is feature one but nothing has changed over there okay so let us now switch to that branch if you want uh, to change something on the feature branch then you what you have to do is you have to switch to that branch okay now how to switch to a branch the command is git checkout okay this we have already seen before so git checkout is used to go to any particular commit okay also you can use git checkout to go to any particular branch also okay so now i want to go to git checkout feature one okay so the name of the branch is feature one okay now as soon as i do this just look at the files over here huh? there are right now four files i am on the master branch if i press enter it says switch to the feature one branch and you can see m4 file is gone okay that is because that m4 file was there in the master branch not in the feature branch when feature one was created this was the state of your 
directory okay so it has recovered everything i resetted everything to that directory that does not mean that i cannot go back now okay i can always go back i can just come over here and what is the name of my master branch master okay so i can press this now i am back to my master and you can see my m4 file is back okay so that is how you can switch back and forth between branches okay so let me go back to my feature branch okay so now i am on the feature branch and now i'm going to add a new file some bug has happened and i'm going to resolve it by adding a new file okay get uh, sorry i will create a new file with the touch command touch has nothing to do with git huh? it is, this is a system command so touch uh let's say feature one dot text okay so i've created this file you can see now that file is reflecting okay so now i can do git add to add it to the staging area now git commit minus m feature one okay committed that's it okay so now if i go back to master branch using checkout git checkout master what will happen any ideas any ideas what will ha happen if i run this command right now which files will be there and which files will not be there okay so f1 will not be there and If I go back to master branch, which file will be there and which file will not be there? Okay, very good. M4 will be there, right? Because let, let me just run this and show you. As soon as I run, you can see F1 is gone and M4 comes back, right? So you can see from here that uh, uh, initially uh, you had F1 in the feature branch and m4 was not there in the feature branch but now as soon as i shift f1 is gone and m4 came back okay so that is uh, how these things work okay now uh, uh, let's go back to the feature branch and if i want to go back i will use the command git checkout okay so now i want to uh, do one more change okay so i have i have found out that the bug is not yet resolved i want to do one more change okay so let us create another file touch let's say feature f1 2 okay dot txt i have added uh, additional file to the this thing okay so now if i do git add git commit feature fix okay if i run you can see uh, i have now two files f1 and f12 okay that is fine till now right now uh, let me go back to git git checkout master and obviously i have returned to my previous state okay now i want to show you one command that uh, i use the regularly that is uh, you must be aware of this git log okay now git log uh, you can see it shows how many commits four commits because the master does not know that there are two more commits made in the feature one branch okay so the master will not know anything about these uh, whatever happens in the feature branch so to let the master know or to reflect uh, right now that you can see f1 and f12 files are not there okay if you want to bring that you have you are happy with whatever the changes you have done now you want to merge it so for that you, you can use something called as git merge okay i will show you that but before that uh, i will show you another uh, variation of git log that i like uh, very much okay so i will just show you let me do git log i think this also i have shown you git log all okay just let me 
show you what what this is okay you can see what it shows okay it shows all the commits in all the branches okay so that is the best part of using git log hash uh, sorry uh, git log all okay so when you use uh, this flag it shows you all the commits okay by default git log will show you only those commits which are of that particular branch okay but i use always use git all to see what all commits are there in other branches also okay but this will not help you much because uh, there is one feature fix there is one feature one i like to do one more thing specifically that is before git log all i used to i i like to do graph okay so git log graph and you will see the difference now okay can you see the difference let me just uh, so uh, it shows you basically a graph of what is happening okay so you can see these lines over here so this is basically telling you how this branching is happening okay so basically at the beginning you had the first commit that is this star okay then you created the second commit then you created a third commit till there there was no branching as such okay so that time till that time you didn't do any branching right and if you remember after the third commit we branched into feature one okay so you can see that right now there are two different uh, variations right so from that third commit there are two different uh, arrows one going to master so this side that is this commit is going to master and the above commit is basically feature one okay right so this helps you to see what is actually going on right so now let us uh, uh, once we have seen visually what is happening if i just uh, let me just quit and uh, uh, when you do git log and there are a lot of entries then it will show you some and then you have to press enter to see the remaining result and at the end you have to press q to come out of it okay so i will just show you again you can see uh, right now it is waiting for some input right so you press enter it will show you more commands more git log and at the end you can see the end coming at that time you have to press q to come out of it okay so th that is just a hint if you ever get stuck okay so once this is done we know that there is a feature branch where some commits have been done there is a master branch there where there also some commits have been done now i want to merge these things together okay so for that the command is git merge okay so now uh, before doing git merge it is important to understand what you want to merge or where you want to merge okay so basically if you want to merge master to feature okay so you want to merge the contents of the master to the feature then you have to go to feature branch and then do the merge okay but right now what i want is i want to remain in the master and whatever is there in the feature that should be merged with master right so what i want to do is i want to see to it that i am on the master branch okay so this is very important i am on the master branch now i will run this command git merge and what is the feature that you want to sorry what is the name of the branch that you want to merge okay so the name of the branch is feature one okay so if i press enter you can see it has opened a window like the previous uh, uh, git commit message okay so it has opened that window it is just asking you if you want to add some custom message or something if you want you can add otherwise just press uh, uh, colon w and q as the last uh, you know, as the same way when, when we did git commit so you can use colon w and q colon is to is the command uh, prompt and w is for write and q is for quit okay so i'm going to write these changes and quit so if i do that you can see what uh, git is saying merge was made by the recursive strategy so it has added two new files to the master and uh, two new files are created and wonderful thing is now you can see in the master only you there is f1 and f12 
so now your feature that you are working that also has come into your master branch okay so that is how you normally you know work uh, on code bases okay so you normally will uh, whenever you want to you know develop something new or some particular let's say uh, i am working on the ui part somebody is working on some other uh, user login page etc etc right so i will be creating uh, a branch for that particular uh, uh, person and he will be working on that separately i will be working on the uh, some other part and i will be having a separate branch for that okay now they we both will be working independently once everything is done we will merge to the master okay so basic funda is nobody touches the master okay master update should be done only after you are sure that your code is working okay so uh, till now everything is fine any doubts still here how to branch and how to um, merge any doubts you can type your questions uh, whenever there are any questions okay very good alia that is the next topic uh, that we are going to discuss about conflicts okay so uh, let's do that now okay so uh, as alia rightly said what if uh, uh, let's say both of the developers are working on the same file and on the same line okay if we, they are working on the same file it will not make much difference because maybe the i am working on line number 10 and the other developer is has changed line number to 13 or 14 so git is smart enough to understand that and merge the changes right but what if they are working on the same file on the same line and the code has changed okay so now here git is not that intelligent uh, to understand which which code is uh, better okay so what it will do is it will uh, initiate a, a conflict uh, instance okay so it will initiate a conflict and you have you as a developer whoever is merging has to resolve the conflict okay so let us see how that happens okay so now let me do git status now everything is clean everything is proper now let me just open any one of the file let's say m1 okay so i have opened m1 i have added uh, some text okay so i have added uh, hello chalo and world okay so i have added this in this particular file now i'm going to do git add git commit what was this uh, commit number fifth commit okay you should be more much more descriptive than uh, first commit second commit this is just for practice that's why i'm uh, giving such kind of names okay so i have done that now master uh, is having the content in m1.txt as hello chalo and world okay right now i have decided to uh, you know give uh, access to this particular code to my friend okay and i create a branch for let's say uh, arun okay uh, my friend's name is arun let's suppose i want to create a branch okay and the name of the branch is arun okay so i just add that i now i will move to that and now i am working on master branch let's suppose and arun is working on arun's branch okay so in the master branch uh, i will do uh let me open right now i am on the master branch right so i am working on the master branch so i will open here and uh i find that chalo has two l so i will remove one l and save it right so that is done and if i do git status 
you can see modified m1 dot text let me commit git minus m m1 edited okay sorry what have i done wrong okay i have not staged git add and git commit okay so it's done okay i have committed now what happens is uh, uh, arun also does the same thing okay and uh, uh, arun uh, doesn't know that i have changed m1 dot text he is unaware okay so he is working on his computer right uh, so he is on his branch so he goes to his branch arun okay right now if you if he opens the file he will see again chalo only right because uh, he doesn't know that i have removed this l that was in the master branch right so what he does is he uh, he doesn't like this uh, chalo world at all so what he does he adds something else okay so i am just uh, uh, put giving you some example uh, he adds the sentence something like this he writes it chalo s okay so he saves it and he commits it okay so let me do git status again arun also sees that m1 is modified he does git add he does git commit by arun okay so now both of these things are done okay now uh, now arun has gone home uh, now i am i am back in my master branch right so let me go to my branch that is master okay i don't know what arun has done right and arun tells me i i have completed my work you can merge it to the uh, master right so what i will do i will just do git merge and what is the name of the branch arun if i press enter immediately git says there is a conflict instead of in, if you look at the previous uh, merging you can see merge was made with recursive strategy so the merge was completed right but in this case in our case there is a conflict right so merge couldn't succeed and merge it says automatic merge failed so now here is the place where you come into picture where you have to resolve the merge okay so now how to resolve the merge Sim it's very simple you just uh, do git status and find the file which uh, which says both modified okay so which is the file m1.txt so i will come over here and open m1.txt and the wonderful part about git is it adds this thing okay so this is what makes the conflict okay so what it's saying is in the head that is in your master branch the text is chalo and in the arun's branch the text is chalos okay so now you have to decide which one is correct okay now let me say i liked chalo more than chalos okay so what i will do is i will just remove all this extra lines you, very important thing to understand is these markers okay these are the two markers that identify where that conflict has occurred okay so this is the start of the marker this is the end of the marker and this is the middle where it separates the changes okay so what you have to do is between these okay you have to either select this one or select this one now it is up to you as a developer which code you think is correct you have to select that okay so i think chalo is correct so i will remove all these things and also i will remove head part and now this is my final file i will save it and now i can do a final commit git add git commit merged with arun okay that's it that is how you resolve 
conflicts okay so if and if ever such conflicts happen then obviously it is a bit difficult when there are number of files okay so that's why it is very important to you know uh, uh, separation of concern is very important you should uh, you know divide your project in such a way that there are minimum conflicts possible okay like for example uh, you are working on a specific page okay so you should not allow your friend let's say you are working on the database functions okay you should not allow your friend to work uh, on database okay you should if there is any problem with database he should tell you to change it okay that is how you know a mutual understanding must be there okay and by chance let's suppose you do some conflicts then this feature of git will help you to resolve the conflicts okay so i hope uh, you have understood this part if there are any queries please ask uh khan fazal is asking is the different color lines represent different branch uh, where are the different color lines i cannot see Uh, Khan, where have you, uh, Khan Fuzzle, where have you seen that different lines? When you merged first time, uh, where did I merge? Okay, here is the merge. Uh, i don't see any different color lines okay in the log you mean to say in the log yes yes in the log uh, uh, whenever branch happens the color changes that is what i think okay okay rehan ali tcoms is asking what if multiple branches have same file how will it show in notepad see uh, one thing to remember is uh, the same file may be present any number of uh, branches but whichever is the active branch right now only that will be visible okay like for example right now i am on the master branch so whatever is there whatever is the status of that m1 branch in the at that particular master branch only that is visible okay whatever happens in the feature branch or in the arun branch that will not be visible for that you have to check out to that branch and then use it okay any other queries yes that is what i have showed showed you if the same line is having some changes in both the branches and if you try to merge then it will definitely show you conflict okay git is not that smart to identify which code is better okay so git cannot do that git can do line by line comparison and you know resolve conflicts but it cannot do such kind of thing okay because in the previous case the files were completely different it was f1 and f12 and there was no conflict no such file in uh, in this particular case so it easily merged okay let's suppose uh, i have this file hello world chalo okay and this data was as it is there in arun's file also and he has added uh, okay now okay what do you think will happen if i merge okay this entire data is as it is there in the uh, arun's file also and he has just added this line he has not changed my data he has just added this line so when i merge what will happen yes exactly alia merge without conflict because 
why would there be any conflict because arun did not change any content of mine okay he has added extra contents okay so in that case there will be no conflicts okay so that is very important to understand unless your friend or you change somebody else's code that time git will get confused and then there will be a conflict and then you have to resolve the conflict okay i uh, what will arun be able to see the final change no arun will not be able to see the final change let me just show you uh okay like uh, let me go to git check out arun okay if i do that Uh, okay so uh, you can see okay so uh, now this is something i wanted to show uh, in the next uh, step uh, since we have 6 minutes i will show this also this is very important to understand this is one of the topics in our modules that is stashing okay git stash okay so now if you do git status you can see something is modified right so git modified m1 text okay and i am not committing this right now i am not committing uh, this code and i want to shift to arun let's try to do that i just tried but it says i cannot shift okay that is because you cannot shift to a branch unless your own branch is clean okay so your git status should come out clean okay right now it your git status is not clean it is saying modified m1 dot text okay now to resolve this there are two options either you can commit as usual you can create a new commit for this but let's suppose your changes are not final you are in between changes and you are stuck with something and you don't you don't know what to do and you think okay i will stop working on this feature i will go to next feature work on that and come back and work on this okay if that is the case git will not allow you to do that okay for that you have to commit or else if you don't want to commit then there is something called as git stash okay so in such cases when your code is not complete and you don't want to commit then this function you can use git stash okay what git stash does is it saves the state of your entire thing in the memory for later okay it does not commit but it is it will store the state okay if i press git stash it says saved working directory okay so basically it is uh, saved and now i can do git check out arun you can see now i am switched to branch arun okay so now uh, as uh, someone was asking khan fazal will arun be able to see the final changes let's see well uh, i have changed m1 right you can see the file contents is still chalos for arun right why any idea why it has not changed even though i have uh, resolved the conflict and have updated and uh, put the commit the data is not updated for arun why is that so exactly alia very good we have merged arun to master and not the reverse okay so the data from the arun will reflect inside master but the master's data will not reflect unless you merge here now okay so let us try to merge let us do a git merge over here merge and name of the branch is master okay right now i am on arun branch i want to merge with master okay so let me do that you can see it has fast forwarded and did everything and now if i open m1 you can see now it reflects okay so that is what you have to do whenever you are going to do 
uh, get uh, you know branching and merging okay so this thing has to be uh, understood very well and uh, let me go back we i have now 3 minutes left let me quickly go back to master okay and if i do git status you can see now my branch is clean okay so there are no committed changes but then if you remember i have done some changes and saved in the stash okay for me to work later now how to get that back that is very important right so for that a simple command again you run git stash and apply okay so it will take all the data from the stash and bring it back okay now you can see what has happened whatever text you have modified before it has come back okay so if i just open you can see okay now is back right so that is how you use stash feature okay so stashing is very important when you are working on something and your pro, whatever you are working it is not complete and you want to shift to some other branch then git will not allow so only two ways out either you commit or it is not a good idea to commit unless your code is complete okay so if something is in between it is not a good idea to commit so it's better to stash it and whenever you come back you can uh, see the uh, changes okay now if you want to see uh, is are there any stashes in the branch then you can just instead of apply you can just do list and it will show you all the stash that is available okay so you can see there is this stash uh, that is available that you can recover so you can just do stash uh, uh, apply and that will be recovered okay so i hope uh, if there are any doubts you can ask